With Phonics Hero, you can have a one month free trial of the child accounts and you can set these up yourself through your free teacher account. You can do this by either clicking anywhere you see the green trial now button or use the menu on the left to click trial child accounts. Click start my trial now and you'll begin the setup process. So first it's going to ask you for a little bit of information. We set up the child accounts using a short code. So for example, each child would be ABC1, the next child ABC2 and so on. So choose a short code that's uh, suited to you and your school. So the example here we've got Red Verb Public School could be RPS, Red PS or Red F and so forth. Um, my school is Discovery International School so I might choose DIS. Um, if the code is not available, as this has to be unique on the system, it will tell you just as it has here. So you can choose a different one. So perhaps um, disc or um, disco, perhaps. There we go. OK, so that one's available. I can use for my particular school. Then I will tell the system the name of my class. So this is year one. And then you click next. So the next step, we need to know how many accounts you would like. You can have a maximum of 30. If you'd like any more, just get in touch with your account manager. The email will be on your screen there. Um, and this instance, I just want three accounts for my class. Then click next. On the next page, we need to know the names of each child. Um, and this is purely just so that the child can see which account is theirs. Rather than just one, two, and three, we know that uh, each account belongs to which specific child. It's also easier for you to be able to manage the accounts in the back end. You know uh, very quickly which account belongs to which child. Um, so just simply write the names in here. So we've got John, Gavin, and Emma. There we go. If you are, uh, if you prefer not to provide the names um, to us, you can either just write A, B, C, or one, two, three. Totally up to you. Um, just pop them in the details there, in the box there. Click next and then wait a few minutes, depending on how many accounts that you've asked to be created, it could take a little bit longer, but it will. you can see the progress bar working at the top just there. Uh, wait for a few minutes and your accounts are being created and there we go, all done. Okay, so what you can now do is click the blue button to print off the name cards for your children. And you can see downloading here. So these are the login details that you'll need for your children. What you can do is print them off, give them out to each uh, individual child, and then they've got the login details there ready. You can either pop them in their diaries, stick them next to the computer, um, on their reading journals, and so forth. Okay. You'll also see we've given you an extra demo account, and this is just an, uh, um, an opportunity for you to have a little play with the child accounts before you introduce them to the children, so you can see what they will be seeing um, and perhaps what you want them to start working on straight away. And those are the details for you there. Uh, so you can click try the child account to go and try out that demo one, or you can click the green manage class button and it will take you straight through to your manage accounts page where you can now see all of your students listed just there ready to get started. Okay and that's it, enjoy!